Welcome back friends, let's continue with the exercise 2.2. Now as I have seen in this exercise about quadratic polynomials. There is a quadratic polynomial will have two zeros and how to find out the sum of the zeros and product of the zeros. Now what we will learn in this exercise in this two three problems that we will do now is another step that is how to form a quadratic polynomial when its zeros are given that is something like going back again like we first we had quadratic polynomial then we have studied how to find out its zeros and then how to get the sum and product of the zeros now what we will do is maybe with the zeros or sum and product of the zeros we will find out the quadratic polynomial now this is the um, we can call it formula that we use generally theorem that we use to form a quadratic polynomial when its zeros are actually given because once the zeros are given we can easily find out the sum and product of its zeros so we so here it is we know that a quadratic polynomial when the sum and product of its zeros are given is given by p of x is equal to x square minus sum of the zeros into x or whatever variable that we are dealing with plus product of zeros so it's not very difficult to form a quadratic polynomial when its zeros are given all you have to do is find out the sum of the zeros and product of the zeros and bring this in this format then you'll have your quadratic polynomial and note that we should always remember that is like when after you get the quadratic polynomial multiplying or dividing the given polynomial by any real number does not really affect the zero of the given polynomial that means that even if you multiply the quadratic polynomial by any other constant the zeros of the polynomial will remain unique to itself it will remain as it is now let's continue with some of the questions from the exercise that is question number three again that would be from exercise 2.2 Two, question number three it's given find a quadratic polynomial whose zeros are 3 plus root 5 and 3 minus root 5 so here it's very simple for us zeros are already given so let's find out sum of zeros so we will add the zeros that are given to us so plus root 5 minus root 5 so 3 plus 3 we have 6 product of zeros 3 plus root 5 into 3 minus root 5 now this formula is one of the algebraic identities that we have studied in class 9 that is a plus b into a minus b difference of squares identity that is a square minus b square so it's best if we use that identity that is 3 square minus root over of 5 whole square so 3 square is 9 minus root 5 square would be 5 so 9 minus 5 4 so we have our sum of zeros as 6 product of zeros as 4 so we can have our polynomial that is required quadratic polynomial would be p of x as equal to x square minus sum of zeros x plus product of zeros so x square minus our sum of zeros is x 6 sorry 6x six plus product of zeros is 4 so that's the solution to our third question so it's quite simple when zeros are given you have to just get the sum of the zeros and product of the zeros then you'll have your quadratic polynomial that is x square minus sum of zeros x plus product of zeros now let's move on to question number four let's continue with four that is i'll write down the question again if two and minus three are the zeros of the polynomial x square plus a plus one into x plus b then find the values of a and b so in this question we can see that in our given polynomial quadratic polynomial x square plus a plus one x plus b we have some missing values that are a and b and the question tells us to find out that but of course for us the zeros are actually given so now before we proceed further let's first get the coefficients of x square coefficient of x constant 
term again by comparing with the model quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c so when we compare the given quadratic polynomial with the model quadratic polynomial x square plus bx plus c we have here coefficient of x square that's one coefficient of x that would be a plus one and the constant term represented as b now we will take the help of the relationship that we studied in the earlier uh, videos that is relationship between the zeros and its coefficients so now we know that sum of zeros is equal to minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of x square so sum of zeros is actually given to us that's 2 minus coefficient of x as we have seen here that is a plus 1 upon coefficient of x square is 1 sorry uh, I'm very sorry for that sum of zeros actually only the zeros are given so sum of zeros we will have to find out so the zeros are 2 plus minus 3 so these are our two zeros I'm very sorry for that so if we continue further that is 2 minus 3 equal to minus of a plus 1 so we have minus 1 equal to minus of a plus 1 so minus minus we will just multiply so then we have 1 is equal to a plus 1 so that is 1 minus 1 if you take it on the other side plus 1 will become minus 1 that's a so Therefore, our value of A would be 0. And we still have to find out the value of B. We'll use, take the help of the second relationship, that is product of zeros is equal to constant term upon coefficient of x square so product of zeros 2 and minus 3 its product constant term was given to us to be b coefficient of x square 1 so we have minus 6 equal to b so therefore the value of b is minus of 6 hence the values of a is 0 the value of b is minus of 